the line bring up a top of the chain. And Kenya, you know, they did like to walk to Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. <laughs> Mana in Ario, in Ivi on a boy fella. Tene Akumiki Mahana, Kia Koto, Kiora Tato Katua. I specifically acknowledge our Kuya, Mrs. Ramu in Narimu, and our Kamato, Mr. Joe Hadweather, Tena Kordua. And I offer a very special welcome to today's honor recipients. It's a great pleasure to host this investiture ceremony and bring together nine honour recipients, along with their family and friends, to recognise the contributions they've made to our country. As Governor-General, I have the authority and the privilege, on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold investitures for her and to confer royal honours, our nation's highest honours, on individuals who've made exceptional contributions to our communities and our nation. An investiture ceremony is one of the most important duties I have as Governor-General because it enables me to recognise and thank them on behalf of all New Zealanders for helping to make our town in New Zealand a better place to live. Some recipients have national public profiles, others will be well known in their own communities, but what they have in common is the positive impact they've had on the economic, environmental, social or cultural well-being of our nation. 
Catriona McLeod will now read citations for each recipient and invite them to come forward to receive their insignia. Ladies and gentlemen, as each recipient comes forward, I invite you to join me in congratulating and thanking them for their service to our country. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Barry Maester of Christchurch for services to sport and the community. Barry Maester has represented New Zealand on many commissions and organisations as a member of the International Olympic Committee, IOC, and as Sport New Zealand International Ambassador. He chaired the IOC Education Commission and is a member of the World Anti-Doping Agency Education Committee. He was Vice President of the Oceania Olympic Committee and an Executive Member of the World Association of National Olympic Committees. He was a board member of Auckland World Masters Games and a member of the MB New Zealand Major Events Investment Panel. Mr. Maester has been Chair of Picton's Kaipupu Wildlife Sanctuary, the Picton Smart and Connected Community Group and the Christchurch Multipurpose Arena Trust. He was Director of Destination Marlborough and a member of Tuia 250 Totoranui Trust. Mr. Barry Maester, please come forward. Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Darrell Deering of Christchurch for services to nursing, particularly mental health and addiction nursing. Dr. Darrell Deering is a registered nurse whose career in mental health and addiction nursing spans close to 50 years. Her PhD focused on methadone treatment in New Zealand. She was a founding faculty member of the National Addiction Center at the University of Otago, where she advocated for effective provision of methadone maintenance treatment in New Zealand. She was the Director of Mental Health Nursing for the Canterbury District Health Board. She volunteered as President of Te Ao Maramatanga, New Zealand College of Mental Health Nurses. She's been a member of multiple health working groups and advisory groups. She led a national nursing reference group that developed the New Zealand Addiction Speciality Nursing Competency Framework. Dr. Deering is a life member of Drug and Alcohol Nurses of Australasia. Dr. Darrell Deering, please come forward. the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Tangaloa Sardona Tusiata Avia of Christchurch for services to poetry and the arts. 
Tangaloa Sardana Tusiata Avia is an acclaimed poet, performer, and author. Her poetry stage show, Wild Dogs Under My Skirt, premiered at the Dunedin Fringe Festival as a solo show and is now a multi-award winning theatre production for six women. She's published three poetry collections and three children's books. Her poems have been published in more than 100 anthologies and literary journals. She's taught creative writing and performance for communities, arts organizations, schools, tertiary institutions, and justice facilities. Ms. Avia has received the Fulbright Creative New Zealand Pacific Writers Residency at the University of Hawaii, the Irshola Bethel Creative Writers Residency, and the Janet Frame Literary Trust Award. Tangaloa Sardona Tusiata Avia, please come forward. Mr. Murray Dawson of Christchurch for services to horticulture. Murray Dawson serves on the National Executive of the Royal New Zealand Institute of Horticulture, led the redevelopment of its website, and produces its newsletters and journals. He's principal editor of the New Zealand Garden Journal. He is webmaster for the Friends of the Christchurch Botanic Gardens and the New Zealand Botanical Society. He is a botanist with Manaki Fenua Land Care Research. He helped organize Canterbury's Greening the City, bringing di biodiversity back into the Urban Environment Conference. He helped establish the New Zealand Gardens Trust. He contributes to iNaturalist NZ's help desk. Mr. Dawson is Registrar of New Zealand Native Genera for the International Cultivar Registration Authority. Mr. Murray Dawson, please come forward. Noel Sheet of Palmerston for services to ploughing and the community. Noel Sheet has been involved with the New Zealand Ploughing Association for more than 50 years, initially as a competitor and then in a range of executive positions. He has competed in 19 New Zealand Ploughing Championships and four World Ploughing Championships. He's organised four New Zealand Ploughing Championships and was the organising chairperson of the 2010 World Ploughing Championships. He's been a member of the Palmerston Masonic Lodge for 38 years, a member of the Palmerston Lions Club for 40 years, and treasurer of the East Otago Vintage Machinery Museum in Palmerston for 25 years. Mr. Sheet helped establish the Goodwood Water Scheme Project in 1960. Mr. Noel Sheet, please come forward.
Ms. Lynn Harata Te Aika of Christ Church for services to Maori language education. Lynn Harata Te Aika was instrumental in developing a Maori language strategy for Naitahu, Kotahi Manu Kaika, Kotahi Manu Wawata. She developed Hoaka Ponamu, a postgraduate course for teachers using Te Reo Maori for Christ Church Teachers College. She chairs the Naitua Huriri Runanga Education Committee and developed workshops that have been completed by more than 4,000 teachers. She developed Kaupopo Reo Otahu, a Te Reo Māori course for qualified teachers. She was a member of the Christchurch Polytechnic Institute of Technology Council and the Naitahu Fund Board. Ms. Te Aika is a trustee of Mata Popore Charitable Trust and a board member and former chair of Mataraka Mahanui. Ms. Lynn Harata Te, Kai, Te Aika, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Ms. Nan Anderson of Christchurch for services to choral music. Nan Anderson was inaugural Vice President of the New Zealand Choral Federation, a founding member of the Canterbury Westland Branch and Chair of the Christchurch Branch. She was President of the Christchurch City Choir. She was Chorus Master for Canterbury Opera and Music Director of the Sicilian Singers. She was a founding member and has been president of the Canterbury Clef Music Club. She was musical director for the YMCA Carols by Candlelight event. She was president of the Amalgamated Canterbury Shetland and Orkney Society. Ms. Anderson contributes to the radio program, the Shetland and Orkney Connection for Plains FM. Ms. Nan Anderson, please come forward. Mr. Christopher Marshall of Kayapoi for services to music. 
Christopher Marshall and his wife held 57 house concerts between 1987 and 2000 in conjunction with the Mai Makariri Arts Council. He's organized 149 other concerts as part of the Sunday Classics and Christopher's Classics series. He continues to serve as chairman of Christopher's Classics. He's purchased instruments to loan to leading orchestral musicians. He has financially supported many classical music organizations and young musicians. He has commissioned compositions from Professor Anthony Ritchie and Professor Ross Harris. Mr. Marshall has funded an annual scholarship to the most outstanding graduate of the National Academy of Singing and Dramatic Art. Mr. Christopher Marshall, please come forward. This is Beryl Maltby of Dunedin for services to the community. Beryl Maltby has held several volunteer positions with the Knox Presbyterian Church in Dunedin and was made a deacon of the church in 1984. She is a pastoral visitor and a driver deliverer for Meals on Wheels. She was treasurer of the Arai Te Uru Marai, St. Martin Island Community, Quarantine Island Community Council and Friends of the Hocken Library. She worked in the cataloguing section of the University of Otago Library. Mrs. Maltby helped initiate the 150th and 175th reunions of the Kennard family, one of the original Otago settler families, having also published their family tree book. Mrs. Beryl Maltby, please come forward. Determination, 
compassion and commitment in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped to make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place to live. Your actions and the stories we've heard reflect the spirit of the words of Te Puya Herangi, Princess Te Puya, when she said, Mahia te mahi, he painga mō te iwi. When you work, work for the well-being of the people. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I thank you for helping to improve the well-being of our people, whether by dedicating your lives to the public good, achieving distinction in your chosen field, or inspiring others with your leadership. Please wear your insignia with pride knowing that your contributions are recognised and valued and your example is inspiring others in the community. Kia ora tata. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the uh, official part of today's uh, ceremony. But before we break for refreshments and photographs, I wonder if I might ask you to stand and join me in our national anthem. at the 